Hello and welcome to Session 7, Dealing with Detours. Just as bad times can jolt you off track, so too have other things in your life up to this point. When going deeper, we'll explore what may have sent you on the wrong path. Your life is not as bad as you think because you're in it, you're willing and have the power to turn it around. Simply direct your attention to self-improvement and the life you long to live. Step forward. Be present and hold yourself accountable for all the things you don't like in your life right now. This alone can change the circumstances of your life. The work we're about to do can bring up a lot of, well, emotions. It's a natural process. You may feel elated, sad, angry, vindicated, and validated all in the span of this course. Take a deep breath, clear your head, stretch, get a cold drink of water, and open your mind before we go further. Back? Okay. Let's uh, revisit detours. We've all heard the phrase nature or nurture. Well, now we'll explore the varying ways your childhood may have upset your inner guidance system. The societal pressures and norms outlining the best way to rear a child can create lifelong struggles. All too often children are distracted. They're directed towards something they have little to no interest in doing and away from what they actually do, distracted from it. This both ignores and overrides their built-in guidance system. When thrown off balance in our youth, it can feel like something's missing, wrong. That feeling can linger, hang with us. We tend to feel it's us, but in all reality, it's our life circumstances. Not we, the individual, but we and what we've experienced. And sometimes it's also about what we're not experiencing, as in opportunities to develop our true gifts. Now keep in mind, we were all children once. Can you think of a time when you were discouraged from doing something you were really passionate about in your youth and how that felt? If repeatedly distracted from your natural course, you become more prone to swallow what these so-called norms suggest is right, the right and best path. Veering from your natural blueprint is confusing. It creates insecurity and lowers self-esteem. Success is born of and nurtured with joy. Joy wavers when our natural gifts, talents, and desires are ignored and we're instead put in a box along with other details, other things we're supposed to do, other things we're expected to do, and we're not good at it. We begin to expect the other shoe to drop, disappointment to happen. We walk around holding our breath instead of maneuvering life with the free spirit of a child observing life through curious eyes and an open heart, we begin to shut down. Drifting through life, attempting to be what you're told you should be can cause one to feel incomplete and unaccomplished. Forget about what you've been told and focus on what you feel. I understand for now, you may be unsure. Unsure about what you feel other than confused and this is okay. It's only natural. You can get past it and much easier than you think possible. You know, it was once said, the rear view mirror is tiny compared to the windshield. So look ahead to the new beginnings, the possibilities. We're about to go full tilt and unleash your inner warrior. And believe me, you have one. Anyone on a journey to build the life they know deep to their core, they're intended to live has unleashed their inner warrior. You must now learn to how to best awaken and utilize your warrior instincts. Prepare yourself for one aha moment after another. Your fierce nature is pounding at the door, keeping you from your best life and screaming, let me out. Yes, this is your inner warrior. Your inner warrior fights for your original intent. Do you believe you're meant for more? Of course you do, or you wouldn't be drawn to this course. 
follow your inner knowing and be grateful you're, you're still here. You still hear it. You still feel it. And you know it. The inner knowing will grow stronger and more confident as you move forward. When you breathe life into your true destiny, it moves front and center. It's a sleeping giant within. It is the sleeping giant within. And it is a force to be reckoned with. Yes, a force to be reckoned with. So what's been getting in the way of your happiness and success? As we continue, the issues that have held you back will be brought into the light, addressed, and utilized to fuel your new and better life. During this experience, you'll be learning and growing. I need you to be all in, work full out. Are you in? Good. You have paper and pencil? And if not, you'll want to have that because you're going to want to take notes throughout this course. I'm assuming you do. Write this down. I, insert your name, am all in and ready to work full out to create the life I believe I'm intended to enjoy. Sign this contract. It's a contract between yourself. Keep you accountable. Keep you on track. Your North Star certificate. I'm both happy and excited for you. And again, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey. Welcome to the Warriors for Good. You're now an official member. You're a warrior for good because you're working toward your best. Now, I ask you, why would we all be made so different from one another if meant to follow some cookie cutter blueprint for life? Are you ready to begin creating your life your way? Sweet, yes. As I mentioned earlier, you have everything you need and will be equipped with additional tools to unleash your natural gifts and talents. You ready to do this? Yes, let's do it.